Hi, I am Basant Raj Singh, an Indian senior compositor. Today I have this footage and I want to stabilize this flicker or remove this flicker. First we have to calculate the flicker and for that we will take curve tool. As soon as you call the curve tool, a rectangle box region of interest will appear and curve tool calculate data just within this rectangle box. So this region of interest box is important. Wherever you put this box, the data will calculate it only the region under this rectangle box. If you select this footage and then call the curve tool, then your curve tool region of interest will take the format region. So my footage is Ultra HD 4K. So my curve tool region of interest automatically taken this Ultra HD 4K format region of interest. This region of interest is important. Just like tracker node, when we are doing a tracking, we always exclude the disturbing area which can cause a disturbance to our tracker node. Same like that, when you are going to calculate this flip data. If anything happening in your footage, if some character is passing by which have different lighting, some reflective surface is passing by or anything which have different lighting behavior, you should exclude that. In this footage, there is no character, no other movement which has different lighting than our flicker. For my calculation, I am taking curve tool reason of interest selected to whole format reason. Curve tool has lot of options, but today we will focus every Average intensity. As name suggests, it takes average. We don't need to touch any knob, just frame for base average. By default, it's 2. Whatever value we put it here, curve tool take that much frame consideration for that average intensity. The value of 1 would compare each frame to the frame following, whereas the value of 5 would compare each frame to the following 5 frames. Higher frame range would require to ensure a good average, but the most scenario we need for frame app. Suppose you want to calculate the flicker of the fire to replicate the interaction and in the footage. Yes, always remember higher frame value is more accurate and also take more calculating time but that's not always needed. So I am putting value 1 and then dialog box appear how much frame you want to calculate and then I am calculating whole frame range. It will take little time and it will calculate the average intensity changes per frame. So it's done. So go to this intensity data tab and here if you see every frame different RGB value has calculated. So we got that flicker data. So we have to use this data to stabilize this flicker. Take a grade mode and I will copy this animation data space, copy animation and go to multiply, paste as a absolute. Pay attention, as soon as you paste absolute, it will take only one now. But here R, G, B has different value, but here is taking just only one value because I have not opened that R, G, B all boxes. So click on this four, this box will appear, but now it's taking same value in the R, G, B every now and now paste absolute. So now this will Will take the same data. So I got the data. Now we don't need curve tool. This is just the helping tool to get the data. So now main use is the grade node. So I am copying same grade because we have two methods to stabilize this flicker. First, if you are following my videos, so in color series, I have previously talked about removing the color bias. Please have a look on that video. That will explain the reason how and why we do that. So just follow that video. And and then again come back on this video. So this is multiply. This is flicker value. Press in that curve sign and click edit expression. So this dialog box will appear. And I am not going to explain. Again repeating please watch that video that removing color bias that in the color series. I will put 1 divided by curve. I will just put 1 divided in, in the 1 divided 1 divided and press OK. So now its value has changed. And so and this value will neutralize the color as well as stabilize the flicker and now if I am viewing from this my grid tool it's remove that flicker as well as it's neutralized the color also yes because it's inverting the lower value so it, it's giving that very higher value no need to worry we can compensate this by reducing gain as per our required whatever intensity you needed just dial this gain so this method neutralize your colors remove any color bias as well as stabilize your flickering okay this is one method other is i am just 
putting backdrop. This is my expression. And now this is my flicker value. And this is my footage. So just like match moving in tracker, what we do? We have tracker value and we define one frame as a reference frame for the match move. So just like that, in this footage, we have here green color, here red color, here blue color, lot of color is changing. Suppose I want like this color. So I am making this frame as my reference frame. This is animated value. Copy value, not animation, just one frame value. And again, press 4 at white point and press paste. So now the your frame 100 become your reference frame. So we know that in tracker, whatever the reference frame, that will not change. That will be the same. Just like that, this 100 frame will be the same. And now we have to reverse this grid. So it will continue the reference frame color and it will remove all the flickers. Suppose I want to keep this red look. So I will make this frame as a reference frame. For that, I have to just copy that frame value and paste on the white point. Always remember, I am not pasting animation in the white point. I am pasting just one frame value. That is my reference frame on that white point. So now if you see from here, my all footage become red. That reference frame color will be continued and all the flicker will be gone. Same like suppose if I am viewing my footage from here and I want to keep this blue color. So I will make this color as a reference frame, copy value and just paste on this white point. And already that reverse is on. So now my footage is flicker stabilized and the reference frame color will be continued on all frame. So we can stabilize color flicker. So in this expression method, we are neutralizing the color and we are stabilizing the color. In this method, we are keeping reference frame color as it is and we are removing the flicker. And this is very helpful. Sometimes your green screen has the flicker. So extracting alpha is very difficult. So first stabilize your color flicker, then extract the alpha. Suppose you are using fire element or any element which lighting has changing. So you can calculate that flicker value and you can add to the footage as an interaction. I hope this is helpful. Please share your valuable feedback. Thank you.